All right. Um, I'm actually creating this video quickly for uh, Bentley over at uh, the only Bentley. Um, showing you to do some redstone clock here. Um, the one I know very well to do, and there's a couple that you can do. Um, the one I know is this one. It is a uh, I really don't know the official name of it, but it's a sort of clock. Um, it is probably the faster ones that you can find um, in Minecraft. <laughs> um, if we set this up on a switch or lever like that, okay. So the system's locked up, it's not going to do anything. So if we take, we'll say dispenser, and we'll put the dispenser, hmm, where should we put it? We'll put it here. Yeah. We want it like that. And then we'll put redstone all the way to the dispenser. And then, just for some fun, we'll get some arrows. Put those in there. And just to show you how fast it goes, flip the switch. It goes through them pretty quickly. It's pretty fun. So that is the ultra fast redstone clock that I know. Um, when running it with a dispenser, it goes pretty quick. So I, I don't have a problem, or I don't think you would have a problem with uh, using this for um, the droppers. Probably work. And our one is the traditional, you've got four repeaters, redstone repeaters. And you've got them all lit up. Click it. If you're quick enough, you can get it. Let's see if I can do it again. All right. Darn you. There we go. And then if you pull out that signal there, it'll just keep parsing until it's paused or whatever happens. And there you go. You can also put another dispenser down. It doesn't run as fast as the, uh, the other one over there, but this is the traditional. And this one, you can run the uh, redstone wire however you want, sort of. For me, personally, if I'm doing something and I either want it to move quick or just I don't want to mess with it anymore, I use the uh, bigger, the bigger run over here to do it because it's a little bit easier. And of course, you can do a lot of fun things with it. You've all heard of the fast opening and closing doors. Yeah. It's lagging. I'm guessing I have something turned off, like usual. Hmm. Interesting. Did I turn those off? Hmm. I probably did somewhere. So, if you're looking to do redstone clock, um, there's a bunch of easy ones. It's a matter of which one you prefer to use. Um, there is different types everywhere. You can do different setups, different layouts. Um, it's just all a matter of how you put it together. Um, one last thing here. Any block, if you were to do um, something like this, where you want a lever on one side, and then you got the redstone torch going to the um, timer over here, sort of thing, you do something like this. And you can do this with any type of block. You can 
build this any way you want, as long as you got two torches on the side, on one side. Connect those with redstone, redstone in the middle, and on both sides like this to connect them. And then you put two redstone torches on that side, connect them, connect them to that. And then when you flip that switch, it goes haywire. So, that is my favorite sort of redstone clock system because it's fast, it's fun, it's annoying with doors because people don't like doors going like that. So yeah, if you just want an easy redstone clock, I would suggest doing that. Um, I'm sure there's others that would say do it a different way. Personally, I don't care. It's whatever way moves the, quick, the quickest. If that's doing it this way, I'll, by all means, I'll do it this way. You want to know if it would send stuff through. It should. Right there. And then what you do with that, you can just pull redstone, not like that, out like this. Like that. And there you go. I'm going to turn this off because I'm losing frames. So, there you go. That is my way of doing redstone clocks. I'm sure there's other ways out there to do it. Um, if anything, do it whatever way you want. This is one of the ways that people do just to make it fast sort of set up. And then this is sort of the other way. If you wanted to do this one bigger, you just have to make it in a bigger circle. Like this. And you're always leaving the corners open. Because that's where you want the redstone to be placed. The actual redstone. Like that. These ones are a little bit more easier to set up and control sort of thing. Like that. Dang it. Um. There you go. There's your redstone clock. If it ever sits in spots like that, don't worry, it's probably your graphics or something. So, there you go. That is the redstone clock that I know of, or a couple of them. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I can always send you more videos on how to build different sort of redstone things. Um, and anything else I do know how to do. And for anybody out there that wants to know, if you really want a good way to annoy server admins, this is how to do it. But you didn't learn it from here. Redstone is very, very process intensive on servers and computers. And I have learned that from this extremely big redstone clock that somewhat works. So there you go. Good luck. Choose whatever redstone clock or version or whatever you want to use. Um, Redstone, quick thing here, does pass through uh, blocks. So if you have a redstone torch on one side and then <coughs> you've got the redstone on the other side, it'll pass through to that redstone if you have a torch, apparently, like that. Uh, that should. Alright, now if 
you put so if you put a lever on one side, there you go. And then you can pass redstone um, power to it. So there you go. There's my video for you. You decide what uh, type you want to use. Otherwise, good luck. There are videos on YouTube from other people that have these set up and. Even though they are a little bit process intensive and they do take up a little bit of uh, your CPU and frames, it's quite fun to use. So there you go. Have fun.